If you'll remember, Acts is written by Luke. So it's almost part two of Luke's gospel. So you start with the gospel of Luke and then he continues the story into Acts. But the story has to continue beyond the life of Jesus because now we're taking the Savior to the rest of the world. And there's a great scripture that really sets up the context for both this uh, and the whole book of Acts itself. And this is in Acts chapter one. And it's in verse eight. So this is what the Lord says to his disciples as he's getting ready to ascend up. He says, but ye shall receive power after that the Holy Ghost has come upon you. This is what's going to happen here on the day of Pentecost okay. in the next chapter. And then, and ye shall be witnesses unto me both in Jerusalem and in all of Judea and in Samaria and unto the uttermost part of the earth. So the Lord here says to his disciples, this is my plan for you. You're going to receive the Holy Ghost. And then you're going to give the gospel to those in Jerusalem and then in Judea and then in Samaria and then to the whole world. And so Luke is going to tell us how that story unfolds. And so here in Acts chapter 10, we're going to be introduced to how the doors open up for the gospel to be taken to the whole world.